I just bought this $1,000 Lego set, and by the end of this video, it's gonna be thrown in this pool. I'm also gonna be running over sets with this truck, dropping them in public, and sinking them in a pool. And also, we're going to be doing a bunch of other destructive things. So with all that said, let go. And I'm going to start by dropping my favorite Lego set ever, the Death Star. And we're gonna see if it really does break like in the movie Spider-Man. Oh no, the Death Star is dropping in three, two, one. Look at the carnage. Your mom did not survive. Walter's dead again. Yes, he reigns supreme. We're watching the, the reaction to the slow-mo. Oh, shoot. Oh my God. Now we're gonna be destroying like 99 more things. So let's get into that right now. All right, so this is a washing machine. We're gonna be putting this set in it now. And this thing is pretty dusty. It's going to ludicrous speed. All right, and it should be about done. And oh. That, that's not good. It, it's clean now. That's good. Look at that. Like, there's no dust. All right, on to the next one. Now, this is Baby Yoda, and this is stairs. I think you know where I'm going with this. He's not happy. All right, let's say goodbye to our little friend. Three, two, one. No, look at it. Look at his head. He's severed. Look how they massacred my boy. Oh, that's so sad. Rest in peace, Grogu. You will be missed. Next thing, I'm gonna be throwing this book at the ATST. It's a pretty cool set, and I'm gonna load a chicken in it because why not? Let's see the destruction. <laughs> what happened to Bro? His head is over there. All right, we're gonna be checking out the real footage now. Let's see. Let's see it. Oh man, I'm so excited. Oh shoot! So this is a ceiling fan. And next, I'm gonna be tying a bunch of these Starfighter sets, like Buzz Lightyear's ship, Luke Skywalker ship, and a bunch of Tie Fighters to it. And then I'm just gonna keep changing the speed of the fan to see how much time it takes for them to fly off. So I loaded this cursed Yoda in one and then this big tall guy in another. Also, there's Porky Pig. So we're gonna start off at this speed. All right, that's not too bad so far. It's time, full power, go. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh no. Did Yoda survive? He's definitely dead right now. Oh man, TIE Pilot's gone. Look at this. Oh, he's Ooh. dead. This one actually didn't do too bad. Buzz Lightyear survives. I'm also gonna be freezing the snow speeder. And I also put our boy Blocky McBlockface inside because I wanna see what happens to him when you freeze him in ice. So we'll check back on that in a couple hours. I got this giant black truck and we're gonna be running over this Lego minifigure with it. So let's see who wins. Oh, look at the face. Wow. That's tragic. Let's do it again. That was pretty impressive, but I'm gonna take this one and drag him behind my car using some string and just see what happens to him. All right, let's drag him. He's so nervous right now. All that we have left is this. Now we gotta clean all this up all the way back there. That was pretty cool. Now we're gonna get back. Now for this next section, I put together an entire Star Wars clone trooper army with five different cannons, six tanks, and 11 speeders. Plus these giant walkers and even a gunship. And I loaded up this army with minifigures and there are a total of 26 sets in this entire group. And of course, this army is being led by the grand and mighty Florida Man. If you wanna buy your own, I'll leave a link in the description. And you may be wondering, how am I going to be destroying all these clones? Well, I'm not. Now this dinosaur came all the way back from Jurassic Times because you didn't hit that subscribe button, so you should definitely do that. But also he came to destroy the clone army. No! Don't come after me! Don't come after my clone army! No! No! The boy! And now that the dino destroyed almost all 26 sets, he opts back into the wild. Alright, so thanks to my boy for destroying those 26 sets, so uh, we'll see you later, bud. That's the part where you run away. But there was still a walker left from all the chaos, and someone released an alien from Area 51 to drop in and abduct it, although he didn't handle it too well. And now might be a good time to do some yard work. And this is a leaf blower, but unfortunately, it kind of stopped working, so I'm just gonna whack it with this thing. One, two, Shabang! And that fared pretty darn poorly. Now this is my shovel, and we're gonna be whacking the Spider-Man set with it. No, Spider-Man. Now this is our nice rake, and we're gonna be raking away some Lego Star Wars sets, so Lego. No, Stormtrooper Bob is gone. I would say that counts. Let's go into the next yard activity. And next I'm gonna be using this big hose to destroy Mickey Mouse's fire department, which has Minnie controlling one of the trucks, and it also comes with Goofy. Also, I'm gonna destroy this fire truck, because why not? Now let's destroy it. 
He's invincible. Look at him go. Got him. Well, the boys are both dead, and Minnie got in a little bit of an accident. And this one did not fare too well either. All right, let's get into the next one. Next, I took out these bad boys to destroy the princess's castle. Oh, no. There's Chip. He's, he's going to be a little more than Chip after that. Looks like the couple's pretty darn fine, though. Not anymore. Now, this is my lawnmower, and I'm going to be running over this clone walker set. Bro did definitely not survive that one. I don't even know how he made it past it. And for an extra, I get Anakin and put him in a land speeder, and we're gonna be burying it in the sand. He doesn't, you know, Bro, like sand very much. I don't like sand. It's like a funeral. Now clearly nobody would know it was there. Now next I'm gonna be throwing this Lego set in the ocean. Let's get one last look at him. All right, ready? Nope, that didn't work. No, ready? Nope, nope, it's stuck. Matt here is gonna try to get it. Oh shoot, he got it. No, Blocky's gone. Rest in peace, boy. Next, we are leaving this parrot set in a Taco Bell bathroom because I hear nothing survives in there. So let's go. All right, so we're going to Taco Bell. Can I borrow the bathroom? Thank you. All right, I'm gonna leave a surprise in the Taco Bell bathroom. Oh, it smells so bad. All right, goodbye, parrot. Thank you. I, I left something in the sink. Oh. I left something in the sink. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. Oh my god. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for baseball. Let's go. Oh. Oh. That is so cool. Nah, this thing shattered. This is the least bouncy basketball I've ever seen. Three, two, one. Yeah. Yeah, no, homie's gone. What happened to his face? Uh -huh. He lives in a pineapple under the sea. It's SpongeBob SquarePants, and I'm going to be flooding the bikini bottom set. Because, of course, you know, it's based underwater, so it makes sense for there to be a flood at the Krusty Krab. Anyway, I set up a little bucket outside and just kind of started filling it with the hose. Oh, flood. The flood is over. Oh, no, they all drowned, even though they, you know, live in the ocean. The Krusty Krab fared pretty well, though. Very nice. Now our next natural disaster is hail, and we're gonna be using ice and just dropping it on r 2 d Wow, he survived pretty well. And I also made an earthquake for the Daily Bugle set. I don't want to rebuild any more sets. I'm satisfied with that. And one of my favorite things to play as a kid was Nerf guns. So we're gonna be starting a Nerf war with this Iron Man set. Let's lock and load. You know what, that didn't seem like enough. When there's nothing left to do, <laughs> throw a Nerf gun at it. And since I'm also just Ken, I turned this charger into a pink one because, well, I'm just Ken. Now this is Batman's Batmobile, and since Batman is literally me, a Batman, I took the set in this dark alley and beat it up. Disgusting. Ugh. So we're gonna be taking this gingerbread house and we're gonna be throwing it in that bucket. It's loaded with a bunch of figures and I cannot wait to see the destruction from this one. Let's get into it. Three, two, one. <laughs> no! We completely overshot it. Oh no. It looks like the nutcracker guy made it in, but pretty much everyone else is gone. But these two are together, so that's kind of sweet. And for 60, I'm heading to the mall because I just finished building the question block from the Super Mario movie. And it comes with all these little small worlds in it and even a little Bowser figure. I actually really think it's kind of cool. But now I'm gonna go to the mall because I was kinda dared to drop it there. And we're gonna see if we get some live public reactions. I'm, I'm stuck. Let's go. And after I dropped it, it was one of the most awkward things I ever had to deal with in my life. It was so uncomfortable. I never want to do this again. Next up, I have this Oppenheimer figure, the guy who created the atom bomb. And I'm going to load him up into this warplane and then crash it into this German car. Three, two, one. And this is the Home Alone set, and I'm just going to be leaving this one home alone. Goodbye, set. Goodbye. Next up, we have this upset, and I'm gonna have my friends throw water balloons at me, and I have to defend this set to make sure it doesn't break. All right, here we go. They have 100 of them. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, shoot. No, don't get this close. I'm recording, I'm recording it. <laughs> now, this is a micro Lego Starfighter, and I'm gonna be tossing it. Yo, how did that happen? So we're already at 66 sets, which means, of course, I have to execute order 66 on my foot. And I'm gonna be doing this by walking over the Jedi Temple, which is filled with little younglings. And this is by far gonna be the most painful thing I do in this video. Oh, oh, oh. I gotta sit down now. So anyway, for revenge, I took out my lightsaber and knocked the crap out of this Christmas tree. This is for my foot. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. Look at the boy. Bro took the L. Then after that, I summoned in this little Jedi, and he came in and just kind of used the force on a Lego teal brick. And now that we've destroyed the Death Star 1, let's destroy the Death Star 2, because you know, it happened twice in Star Wars. And I want to do it by recreating a scene from Star Wars, where the Star Destroyer kind of just rammed into the Death Star, and then the Death Star blew up. Anyway, we're using this Death Star, and then we're going to use this Super Star Destroyer set, and I'm going to be throwing it at this one, so Lego. Three, two, one. <laughs> Apparently the Death Star is better aimed than me because I skimmed the top of the laser with the Star Destroyer and then the Death Star just kind of rolled off the table. And for this one, we're going to be giving it to my dog, Bailey. <laughs> you don't, you don't, oh, okay. He didn't fully destroy it, but he did kind of knock a couple pieces off. Now I'm going to be dropping this ATTE from this 10 foot height. Three, two, one, zero. I'll be honest, I thought it would have held up a little better. This is a custom piece of Lego art. And the way I'm going to be destroying this one is by running into it. Three, two. That kind of fell into a billion pieces. Now this is the Titanic. We're going to be sinking it in this pool using the ice block from earlier. So let go. All right, it looks like that did not fare too well. I also took this Harry Potter train and ran it off the track and into the pool. Definitely not as cool as that Mr. Beast video we did, but it's still pretty neat to see. And also didn't get that damage, so that was pretty good. This next set is Thanos' gauntlet, and I was gonna get some dry ice because it makes a really cool smoke effect. Then my order came in from Walmart, and this is not dry ice. I'm counting this as a destruction. Rock on, bruh. For these next couple of sets, I took out this claw machine I own and put a bunch of little Lego sets in it, and now I'm gonna try to claw them out. Ooh, get through. Very nice. And I ended up winning a bunch of stuff, like this gunship, a flower, and even a land speeder. In total, we won like 14 things, which brings our number up to 90. And to destroy all them, I'm just gonna kinda... Yeah, I'd say that about did it. Next, I made this Harry Potter Lego sit through the entire Emoji movie, which I think was pretty emotionally damaging for him. This is my silver play button, and this is a Star Wars walker. I, I think you know where I'm going with this. And we also put Benny on top, because why not? I'm a boy. Oh yeah. Nah, this thing's dead. There's Benny. On to the next one. Next, I copped this can of baked beans and wanted to drop it on this little Ewok, and it didn't do that much damage. This is a 10 pound weight. I'm gonna do 50 curls with it, and then I'm gonna drop it on this Lego Star Wars set. We dropped it, and there was some pretty crazy damage. Let's move on to the next one. Now, this is one of the most dirty Lego sets I've ever seen. The main reason I bought this set is because I need a place for my boy Walt to live. Anyway, I'm gonna put it in this dishwasher, and we're gonna see what happens. All right, let's check it out. Oh, sheesh. That's a moist boy, but very clean. This is the first actual dub of the video. It's very nice. Let's move into the next one. I also put this micro build of BB-8 in a microwave to see what happened, and it was really warm at the end. Sorry to disappoint. After that, I went to a Lego convention real quick, and this guy gave me a custom Star Wars build and told me to destroy it. So of course I did. Now that's crazy. Now this is a butthole tiger. And of course the reason it's called that is because of this rather precarious piece. Anyway, since this is so biologically real, I thought it would make sense if we released this bad boy back into the wild. Be free little guy, he'll probably get destroyed by some animal later. Definitely not Bailey. So this next one was Yavin, but as I was picking it up from that shelf, it just kind of collapsed in my hand. So I, I guess this has to count as, as one of the destructions, right? At least Chewie and Han survived, but I don't know about the rest of these guys. Also, while we're at it, because why not? Now it's time to drop the Star Destroyer in the pool. If you were to buy this online right now, it would cost like $1,000, so I can't believe I'm gonna be dropping it. So let's get into it. Here we go, into the wild. Ugh. This is going to be the most wild shot of this entire video, so please hit that subscribe button because I destroyed so many different Lego sets to get us here. Either way, with that said, let's drop him. Three, two, one. <laughs> you see that? All right, we're gonna go check out the slow mo camp. If we can All right. Oh! Oh, that's crazy. That's so cool. Did you see the splash? It just pushes the water forward. Now I'm gonna clean this up. I will see you all in the next one. Remember to peace out and stay awesome. Oh man, this sucks balls. Bruh.